Hi guys, welcome to another Train Simulator 2015 video. Today we're going to be driving the newly released Class 455-8 in Southern Livery for the South London network. Now, as per usual, Dovetail Games with this train have supplied three career scenarios for the South London network. And here they are. If you just go down, it's the fourth one in the list. Uh, you have three scenarios. Uh, one 30 minute easy one between a bridge and a palace where you go between London Bridge and Crystal Palace. Um, tight in the smoke, uh, which is 30 minutes in slightly harder and medium difficulty. An evening passenger run from South Croydon to Victoria. And it's a snow joke. Uh, this is the hard scenario for the route. 40 minutes uh, hard. Take charge of class 455 running on a wintry evening passenger service from Bermondsey to Croydon. So this is the one that we're going to be doing. It's the 30 minute easy one. Uh, we're going to go be going from London Bridge to Crystal Palace. Uh, summer cloudy, 9.15. Let's get into the scenario. Now something different in this video that we're going to do, normally when we do these new release videos, um, say for example the Class 303 video, um, when I did that video we already knew what the train was going to be like um, so because we'd already tested it out with the sounds and everything to get it right and that applies to all the new release videos that we've done. Um, but with this video we've decided to not look at it, this is our first time entering it, we have no idea what it's going to be like, yeah, we've watched the live stream, we watched about five minutes of that. but. Um, but for the most part, kind of cool stuff, we don't actually know what it's going to be like. So, um, yeah. So we are in the scenario. Good morning, driver. You'll be taking charge of this stopping passenger run to Crystal Palace. The weather looks fine, so you shouldn't encounter too many problems. Pick up passengers before setting off. Good luck. Okay, so let's open the doors. Alright, so obviously London Bridge is a very interesting place for trains at the moment. Uh, currently, um, this is set before any of the building work has started. But now, currently, you just have these um, four southern platforms in use. And they have been completely rebuilt. All this is gone, and you've got just low canopies. And the main part of the building work is currently going on these three platforms. And this kind of bay platform here in the southeastern section. Um, and they're being rebuilt to be able to be through tracks um, to increase capacity on the um, Thameslink and southeastern routes. Obviously, there, there's um, over there is what's supposed to be... Um, Cannon Streets, and obviously Waterloo is over there. So obviously all the Thameslink trains will run up into Blackfriars, which is there. So that's to increase capacity through there. Right, so our doors have closed. Let's get the brakes off. Uh, train into forward. Um, and let's go. I'm not quite sure how this accelerate. Oh, wow. Whew, the acceleration's pretty good on this train make sure I don't speed in this 20 limit. Right, brilliant. So yeah, um, obviously this uh, scenario is set when um, the inner s uh, South London lines were, and the outer South London lines, were all provided by Southern with these 455s and 456s. Oh god, I've got my turn on. Um, just jump back in. Um, so yeah, London Bridge is currently, um, currently being completely redeveloped. I hope they probably won't, but I hope that they release like a an update, updated pack with all the new um, London Bridge kind of infrastructure because it will look so much different. If we just hop out the train, obviously our livery is completely perfectly done. Uh, you can see here there's loads of crossovers heading towards us. This is used by Thameslink trains to get off the these lines closest to us and next to us, to obviously into the middle platforms, the middle three platforms at London Bridge. And can you imagine, uh, you know, if I just kind of pan out, you can see all the uh, crossovers. It just, it, 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 it's getting in the way. Why have we got, there's a southern, tr there's a southern 455 on the southeastern line for some reason. Anyway, you can just imagine, you've got all the Thameslink trains going across all the southeastern trains. If one train's late, the other train's going to be late. You can see how the whole thing kind of falls apart. So with the timetabling that they did when they had first started building, doing works, it just completely messed up. Because if one train was slightly late, it, it just completely messed the whole timetable over. They've recently uh, redone the timetable, so it's a bit better now. So yeah, that's all on London Bridge. We're now heading out uh, to South Bermondsey. We'll see a little, um, obviously we'll branch to the off to the right of the uh, main southeastern lines in a minute um, and then we will disconnect from all the uh, southern lines also going down south to uh, East Croydon and West Croydon and Brighton. You can 
see a 455 there, just ahead, running into Milford Bridge. You can imagine the amount of complicated time saving you've got to have to get all the trains running into here and everything to be run on time. It's just a, a huge project to be able to mastermind. Right, so let's just test out the brakes of this train. We've got a 45 minute coming into um, South Bermondsey, so we've got to make sure we are on the mark while we slow down. The brakes are okay. We're on the 45 already. I think the rule for this train is if you're going into an 8 car platform you've got to be down to 40 at least by the time you're entering the platform otherwise you, you're kind of going to overrun even if you put it, on, put, it on, put it on full service. Right, but I do I do quite, I, I think this is my favourite type of braking, this kind of three step, four throttle um, type of braking system. Um, so yeah, just coming into South Bermondsey. Just get the perfect stop. We stopped a bit short. I've underestimated the tra this train's brake capacity here. Let's get a stop. Right. There we go. Brilliant. Right. Let's see how the door animations go. Perfect. Perfectly in with the sounds. And obviously you get your little... Um, platform and uh, door open indicator it's a bit a bit weird but it's at least it's there and at least it works properly or, or do it doesn't um yeah these trains look really cool they it's so brilliant that they've released these let's just get the doors closing brilliant perfectly in time breaks off Right, so now as we leave um, Queen, oh no, as now as we leave South Bermondsey, we're going to join on to the East London line, which has obviously come out of Highbury and Islington. Nowadays, um, the service which we're providing now doesn't go um, towards London Bridge. It now goes off this junction, up through um, Surrey Quay, and goes up to um, Highbury and Islington, where it will terminate. Um, and this obviously has reduced the amount of ser su services going into London Bridge, which then gives them the capacity to be able to reduce the amount of platforms because all the services going up through the East London line up to Highbury and Islington. You can just see it there now coming around the corner. Um, there is also a proposed station just to right on, on obviously the, the East London line called Surrey Canal Road. Um, it's currently in the design, it's not you know a huge confirmed project yet but it's, it's going to be here just as um, we it joins on. And then also once the, um, the tracks come together right where we are now there was an old station before they built Queen's Road Peckham, called Old Kent Road and Hatcham, which was here. Yeah, and then another interesting fact is the fact that um, Queen's Road Peckham used to be uh, have platforms on either side of the track. So the track used to be in the middle, and then you'd have platforms where the tracks are instead of one island platform. I don't know why they changed that. The only thing that I can imagine they changed it for was because they wanted to have just one platform staff, because you need two if you have two separate platforms. And if you have one eye on the platform, you can have just one station staff dispatching one train, because obviously it's just one, one platform. However, for obviously the um, passengers, it's a bit more confusing, because obviously you've, you've just got one platform, it's just, there's no real separation of each direction. That could be one negative of the island platform. Okay, so we're now ready to leave. Doors closed. Let's get the brakes off. Brilliant. Um... Our next station will be Peckham Rye, which is uh, pretty much a really rather cool junction of different lines. You've got the southeastern, which kind of flies over the southern, kind of, and then loops round, and basically kind of is like a V shape. It's really quite an interesting station, and it's on two. It's pretty much on two different levels. But um, if you read up about it, you'll find that there was a goods yard where these these whole load of buildings are, and they've actually replicated it really well in the South London Network route for train sim. So as we come round, you'll be able to see the bridge which carries um, the southeastern lines over it. If we just there it is. No, there there it is. Brilliant. So that's obviously the southeastern lines which we've just followed from London Bridge, um, and just round the other corner is Peckham Rye. So the line over for, for southeastern flies over us, loops round, and then comes in with us at um, Peckham Rye. Awesome.
Oh, there's a, there's a southeast thing. Coming to this platform quite fast. There used to be a goods yard um, there where all these um, buildings are now. I'll go and have a look at it in closer detail in a minute once we've stopped at the platform. Gosh, that was quite a... See, I'm getting used to this train now. If I've got a new train, I come in nice and slowly. Now I've just done a 40 mile an hour approach. First one on this train. Solid. <laughs> Alright, let's just stop. Awesome. And doors open. So here you go, here's the southeastern platforms. They are slightly higher than the southern platforms. If they didn't have this brick wall here, you'd have a really cool view, you can imagine. You'd have a really cool view over the southern platforms, and the same with the um, southern platforms and the southeastern platforms as well. I don't, I'm not liking this AI, it always seems to be still. I don't think this scenario's been done very well at all. Anyway, here's, the here's where the goods yard was. All these buildings obviously weren't here, and you had a goods yard sat in here which I think is quite an interesting fact. Right, so after obviously Peckham Wright, we are on our own, we go off to the left, that little junction there, that's where we go, off to um, West Dulwich, and then we join back on at Tulse Hill, um, and then head on down to Crystal Palace. Um, today, this this train, this, this station is still served by Southern trains, a lot less than it was, and London Overground service, they go off, and then they go, and they follow where the South Eastern train there is going, and off to Clapham Junction, then up on the West London line, and then up to Wilson Junction. But we're going right, we're going left, uh, sorry, um, and we're going off to West Dulwich. Right, doors are closed, let's go off again. Mine is 20 limit as we get out, I'll be a bit gentler with it. Right, so here we go, off there, that's where London Overground goes, this is where we're going. So we're going to be calling at East Dulwich, West Dulwich, and then um, Tulse Hill. So one thing to point out about all these kind of stations on this, uh, just a quick section of the track, they're really close together, really, really close together. East Dulwich, uh, West Dulwich, and North Dulwich are all very close together, because they've obviously got the same station names you say, but really close together. Now we've got a 35 limit, we can just accelerate to that. And now I'm going to talk about 455 history in real life, and then we can go through all the features on this train, which is what I'm sure you're always interested to do. Let's just get up to the 35 limit, and then we'll stop at West Dulwich. East Dulwich. Nice. Brilliant. Right. So, 455 was built from 1982 to 7. So the Dash 8s were the first batch to be built. Um, they weren't built like years ago after that, and they were built um, with all the same coaches. But then you had um, the Dash 7, which is the second batch. I don't know why they decided to go a number lower, a Dash number lower. Um, and they were built really weirdly. Before the 455 was constructed, the 508, um, which had been built from Mersey Rail, were transferred down here to obviously provide cover before the 455s were introduced. Now, they, they were built as four car trains. Now the Dash 7s, the second coach, or the TSO, so essentially the middle coach, but not motorised, is made up of one of the middle coaches of the 508 unit. Because what they did was, is they arrived as a four-car train, they were dispersed, sent back as three, and then the, the Dash 7s and 455s were made up of one coach of um, 455. So you had a new, three, co three coaches of a new 455, and then an old um, 308 coach in the middle of the TSO. So that's pretty interesting as they did that. Um, it also means now that we have the four, four five, six is obviously operating as a 10 car in uh, on Southwest train, it is possible to get three different types of train in one console. So there's obviously got the 455, the 508 uh, TSO coach, and the 456, which I think is pretty cool. Um, however, and then you obviously have the Dash 9, uh, which were built uh, from 1985 to 7, um, which were recreated actually for the Portsmouth Direct Line um, route as an add-on to that. Um, and they were built the same as um, the Dash 8, um, all, all new coaches. However, they had a slightly different uh, horn uh, placement. So if 
instead of being on the top of the um, the front of the coach, show you, instead of being, you see here, they're on the top of the train, uh, they were down here at the bottom. Um, so now you're wondering, how come the Dash 8 on the Southwest trains look so much different from the Dash 8 on Southern? Well, recently, what Southern have basically done is they've taken their 455 train, which used to look like the one that's on the Southwest trains too, and they've basically ripped off the front uh, gangway and they've put what is now an air conditioning unit and obviously changed the headlights around. So the, these trains are air conditioned. Right, so why on earth is there a southeastern train? For goodness sake, did you say, oh my god. There's a, there's a, oh, and I'm overshooting. Oh dear. Oh well, there's an actual platform here. People can still get lost. car stop which I can't, but it's no open the door, that's fine, that's fine, I'll get to it. Why is there a southeastern train here? This is annoying me. I mean, it's just like there's huge engineering works with huge southeastern diversions. This is stupid. So anyway, back to the front of the 455, that's basically what they've done. They've taken off the lights, um, replaced them with these different um, uh, kind of light settings. You've, they've got the new destination board, which we'll look at once we look at the kind of uh, cool features of this 455 train and train sim. Um, and then they've basically ripped off the front gangway and put in an air conditioned uh, unit at the front. Right, so the next station will be Tulse Hill when we can rejoin our train. So basically that's, that explains the history of the 455. If you have any more questions that you'd like to ask, please feel free in the comments to ask them. Or, if you really feel the need, ask Wikipedia. <laughs> right, now we can have a look at the features of this train. Basically, you've got nothing over here at all. I don't think... Nope, nope, none of these, none of these work. None of these work. Um... None of this works here, none of this lights up. Obviously you've got the brake lever, um, what have you got here? Uh, that's the, what is that? It's a, um, oh, oh, that's all windscreen control. controls. Um, actually, let's flick them, let's just see what the windscreen wipers are like. Oh god, exactly the same as the other 455. That's just great. Um, We've got the door into lock light. That actually works. We've seen that. Um, oh, let's just check out the different headlight settings that we've got. So you've got night marker, night uh, tail lights. Good. That's a pretty good array of different lights. Uh, hazard lights. Does that, does that actually work? Oh my god, that's really a nice. That's that's nice. I like that that they've actually included hazard lights for the uh, depot. Um, door release left cab lights. Does that work? Yep, that works perfectly. Uh, you've also got your air brake um, indicator and your speedo. Um, all these different lights. MA, healthy, obviously you've got the horn, AWS reset, um, reverser power, door release right, none of these work. Um, yeah, so that's all the features on the main section of the cab. Again, AWS. Um, we're now in the tunnel for um, going into Tulse Hill. Um, we're going to need the cab lights. Awesome. The cab light really doesn't really do that much. <laughs> uh, we just I can't actually show you the destination board now on the outside either because we're in a tunnel, so this is just weird. Let's just power off. Let's go in the passenger view. We have indeed got a passenger view. Uh, the doors, which you can see here, they don't respond to what you're actually seeing uh, on the outside of the train, uh, but it's a it's a rather good passenger view. Let's just stop at Tulse Hill and then I can show you all the destination boards. Wow, lots of southeastern AI, which has just killed the FPS. Oop. Let's not overrun on this. Let's not overrun. Why is my brakes failing? What has just happened? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I put full service on and I just overran. The front four coaches will not call at this station. The front five coaches make that will not call at this station. Actually, no, the front four coaches can. Right. Brilliant, let's just, yeah, walk through, walk through the gangways which were removed. Haha. <laughs> right, 
Now we can have a little quick look at the destination boards. So this is basically has pretty much the same features as the 442. Sounds are recycled, features which we kind of don't really care about, and the destination board. So you've got Crystal Palace, um, Battersea Park, Clapham Junction, Cassanum, Cassarum, Clapham Junction again, Guildford, Epsom, something, Epsom Downs, Horsham, Kensington Olympia, London Bridge, Purley, Ray, Ray something, Bermondsey, South Croydon, South Bermondsey. <laughs> Obviously, if you've got problems, they can terminate at South Bermondsey. Red Hill, Purley again. Oh, is it South Purley? No, it's just Purley. London Bridge again. We're going round. London Victoria. Kensington Olympia again. Oh, for goodness sake. Epsom Downs again. Epsom. Daphne Junction. I think we've reached them all, but there's one which I really want to find. No. Yay! Wimbledon. That's cool. I'm just going to keep it on that. I don't care. You should be able to work out where your train's going. Let's go. Right, what's the speed? Oh, 20 miles an hour. Damn. Right, so now we can't get interrupted by Tulse Hill. We can have a look at the passenger view. As I said before, the doors don't open. The, um... The rendering is quite nice. The seats are perfect. That's all right. Um, oh, safety instructions. This is right. Oh, my God. That's correct. Wow. Southern have been nice and given that to them. Obviously, you've got the 3 plus 2 seating, which nobody likes. Um, I don't know why they didn't remove that, but you couldn't be bothered. Um, and you've got a map there. So, brilliant passenger view. I don't like the fact that when you look over here, you've got a wall, but never mind. Let's head back into here. We're going really slowly. Let's go. I don't know quite why we are going quite as slowly as a bit. How late are we running? How late are we running? 8.30, Oh, We're running two minutes late. Yeah, we're running two minutes late. That's not too bad, considering that it's sun. That's not actually late in commuter terms. Right, so let's let's just get here a bit quicker. I don't like this twenty limit. It's annoying. No wonder Southern trains are late. Have to deal with a twenty limit. But overall, this train brilliant. It's the release that we've all been waiting for. We've been doing a load of scenarios on the London to Brighton, just thinking the only train that we really need to make it complete is this train, because this train was the real thing that was missing. I mean, it, it was the South London network. Why they didn't release it with this train, with the South London network, I don't know. I think it would have been a better train, and then they could have released the 456 later. But, oh well, they've released it, so we got the best of both worlds. And if I overshoot, that's going to be really embarrassing, because obviously I really should not overshoot at 20. Right, let us get a nice shot of it stopping. Awesome, right. I'm just going to check that none of this actually worked. I think that's pretty much everything. Let's just get the cab lights off. Um, I think that's pretty much everything for by way of features. Does this go down? Tell me it doesn't go down. Oh, it does. Oh, can you only literally just put it down like that and can't have it all the way up in some points? Surely. Oh, good. You can actually put it in different places. Does it show from the outside? Oh, God, doors. Yep, does. Brilliant. So that's some feature that they managed to match with the 455. At least it would have been rather bad if they've not put that in. Because that's a feature that the 455, the old 455, had. And if they hadn't done that, that makes 
it worse, basically. Oh god, this 20 limit is annoying me now. There we go. So yeah, there's going to be a load of reshuffling in the Southern fleet. Basically, what's going to be happening is the... Um, oh god, power off. Oh no, and again, off and again. Basically, the um, the plan is for the 377, the next batch probably, they've done pretty much the whole dashes they can do now. They're on dash sevens now, so they've only got two more they can possibly do. Then they might start doing like 7.1. That'd be ridiculous. They've done too many dashes of Electro Star now. It's an old design and it's kind of a bit ridiculous now. Anyway, their plan is to basically one day we'll just replace these. These are these are the big thing on Southern to replace. They're the only things which aren't the Electro Stars now, because um, they they want just a fleet of Electro Stars. They managed to get rid of the four, five, sixes, and they've got rid of all the Slam Dort stock. It's now these, and the one of the plans is obviously for the um, these trains to be transferred to um, Southwest Trains, given a slight refurbish, um, and then rebranded and put on Southwest trains for about two years until we obviously get all the 700 series of trains um, which will mean that see the whole withdrawal of all the 456 fleet all the 455 fleet that'll be a huge withdrawal but that's that's not going to be happening in the next couple of years but maybe one day we can see these actual trains in Southwest trains livery um, operating on Southwest train metal right so this is the, I think the final stop before our final stop at Crystal Palace. Let's just make sure we stop right. Don't get distracted. Awesome, right. There is a... Oh, what? What? For God's sake. Dear, oh dear. Right, there we go. You happy? Right. Doors open. This this train does get a bit uh, the biggest recycled feel I could possibly get. I mean, they probably just thought, right? People are on, are wanting the Southern four five five dash eight. Let's just recycle the sounds possible. Give them the destination board, which is wrong. <laughs> I mean, that that's so that, that I can't wait for them to do it out of Waterloo to Wimbledon. If they do, please do it, please. Oh, right, let's just let's go see the doors. The door sounds are all the same as the 455. They're slightly better synced, but they're, they're exactly the same. Thank you, the doors. It's one of the lovely things that I'd like love to be able to do in Train Sim is say, sat, sat here, because this thing controls the announcements, and you can click it, and it go, Thank you, the doors. And the most used one, obviously, Boop. This train is delayed. Oh, well. But that'd be that'd be such a nice feature because like, every time I'm leaving the new station, boop, slam clear the doors. That'd be so cool. Oh well, we can't expect everything. Train Sim 16. If anybody saw the live stream, it looks detailed. <laughs> is the word for it. Um, well, we can only wait. September the 17th is the current release date. Um, they've released something on their Facebook page. Basically, the routes to Train Simulator. Um, Basically, it just tries to make it look fancy, and it basically is trying to hide the fact you you will have whatever the whatever uh, whatever happens if you want Train Sim 16, you're gonna have to pay for it. So yeah, it's gonna be 24 pounds. The release date is currently um, September the 17th, which is a Thursday. They seem to release everything on a Thursday, um, except obviously the ones which you're relying on being released on a Thursday. Um, just notice this 15 limit, which we're gonna definitely pass. Straight into Crystal Palace. Away! Look at that! Brilliant. What a finish. Awesome. Right. Final stop, Crystal Palace. This is where we get off. This is where the video s ends. Let's make sure we don't over. Oh, and I'm still speeding. Of course. Right. Right. Well, I think I've got better at driving this one. That's nice that they've included the fact that the train tilts as it goes around the platform. That's nice. I like that. It's a good, good feature. 
and the doors have opened. Right, so we're here at the final stop, Crystal Palace, with Wimbledon being displayed on our destination board. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more. Even though it probably, w <laughs> I don't understand why people say please subscribe for more content. It doesn't make people go any faster with uploading. Anyway, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Please like if you enjoyed it, and please comment if you want to answer any of the questions that I've uh, did. <laughs> if I, oh, congratulations, driver! You successfully completed this run from London Bridge to Crystal Palace. Let's see how you did. Give me a bronze star at least. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh well. Well, last last uh, one of these videos that I did, I managed to get a thousand points, but this time well, you scored zero exclamation mark. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, until the next time. Bye bye.